Yo, it is like so hard for me to be motivated now. Before I start complaining, Happy New Year. Happy, 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 happy new year. 2019 is going to be an amazing year. I can feel it in my spirit. I can feel it in my bones. This is definitely going to be a good year. And I know, like, people say that all the time. But, you know, when you know, you know. <laughs> when you know, you know. Shout out to this tape that's on my face. I'm trying something different. I got some new makeup, y'all. In the words of August, I got some new makeups and I am going to try to be a makeup artist today. I have the new Jacqueline Hill Holiday Palette. It's nothing major, but it's something new for a very long time. I was just using the same old stuff. And today I am going to try this and I want to give you guys an update. Um... A reflection what 2018 was what 2019 is gonna be yada 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 so if you want to hear all of that good stuff is my eyeball getting weird over here you know I never put tape on my face I hope I don't like do any permanent damage <laughs> this is what happens when you watch way too many YouTube videos but um <clears throat> yeah if you want to hear all about my stuff and my business and all that good stuff just keep on watching and let's start doing this stuff. I'm going to try not to make this video like extremely freaking long. But, you know, I talk a lot. So, this is this color right here is the only reason why I bought this palette. Like, seriously. I love that brick color that everybody uses. It's just so pretty to me. So, that's the first color that I'm going to be using. Okay, it's been so long since I made a video like this. I hope that I can get this done successfully. Trying to multitask is like extremely, extremely, extremely hard. I like hard. it, baby, yeah. <clears throat> So, 2018. Excuse my energy levels. I'm going to explain this in about two minutes, what I think is happening to me. But I wanted to get on here because I have to just force myself to, to do things. At this point in my life for some reason or for the reason that i'm gonna tell you i think it is in a minute so 2018 for me um was pain management i think 2018 was a year for me to just accept the things that i cannot change and just ask for God's guidance through the rest of it. Because I have control issues, seriously, with my life. Like, I want everything to be a certain way. I want, literally, from the moment I wake up, I want my day to go a certain way. And if it does not, I am hugely disappointed. So, with that being said... Just things that has happened in my life that I wish wouldn't have happened or could have prevented or think I could have prevented. It's just like constantly replaying in my mind over and over and over again. And as the year just winded down, as I got ready to head into 2019 with um, confidence that this year is going to be everything that I needed to be. I just said, you know what, instead of just dwelling on all of this negative stuff constantly, nonstop, why don't I just manage, learn how to just manage that these things have happened and there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. There's absolutely nothing I can do to go back, change, or adjust what has happened in my life. In order to move forward, I have to accept these things. And the reason I use the term pain management is because despite acknowledging all of these things, it's still hurtful. You know what I'm saying? Like, being human, you still feel the pain. You still hurt every now and then. But being able to manage it without letting it just completely dislocate you and put you in a space where you are depressed, where you're feeling down, where you don't have the energy to move forward or to have a successful day. Learning how to manage those setbacks and just putting your head in the game is a tool that I want to use um all of 2019 going forward so i learned how to do that in 2018 because 
If I just let all of my setbacks and failures constantly replay in my head, I will never be able to move forward in my life. So, 2018 was all about pain management. 2019, wait, before I go into 2019, and let me keep doing my makeup, I, uh... I want to go back and talk about this vision board that I made. And if you got and that video wasn't really popular, but and that's okay. I I don't do anything for things to be popular. I just want to talk about my truth and my journey. So I just want to bring this back up because believe it or not, mostly everything in my vision board came true for 2018. And just to remind you guys what some of those things were, you can always go back and watch the video. But, just in case you don't, I wrote these things down. Um, some of our 2019 goals. My goals, my husband goals, and then our goals together. And then I'll break down how each of these things came to pass. List. moving on to me uh my goals for 2018 was subbing and having opportunities grow as a substitute teacher and it did i was offered to learn a long-term position as a substitute teacher i was teaching ninth grade physical science honors chemistry and um honors physics now let's be honest you guys i i, I can't help it um, I did teach physical science for freshmen. Um, honors chemistry, there could have been a moment where I taught, but there was a lot of resistance um, as far as the students went because I looked really young. Like a lot of people question my credentials and what I'm capable of because I looked young. And so most times I'm judged and not taken seriously. So um, it could have been a better experience and we could have learned from each other, but it just really boiled down to me relying on um, information and reading information. But it was never a teaching or an engaging situation. And as for honors physics, I didn't have to teach that class. Um, it was like three, stu four students, in the, five students, I'm sorry, five students in the class. And they were all pretty self-sufficient. And they had a huge project that they worked on every single day. So nothing really, you know transpired out of that other just being there physically and experiencing those things physically so um needless to say i had opportunities grow and i'm very grateful for that experience um i wanted my youtube channel to grow my youtube channel boomed in 2018 there was a point where subscribers were subscribing back to back to back to back i mean like at one point i think i gained like 100 subscribers over one weekend and i was absolutely amazing i know that i wrote originally 5,000 subscribers but i knew realistically that um i needed to crank out more videos and be more consistent to reach a goal as such and i knew that i wouldn't have time so i'll accept the 700 that I reached before 2019. So thank you so much, YouTube. Thank you so much for my subscribers. I really appreciate it. Then, journaling and reading was another one. Definitely did more of that. Um, I shared the book that I read. I'm reading a marriage book right now. So I'm still c c carrying over some of these goals. And then stretching in the gym. I joined the gym. I have a membership. I go often. Not as often as I would like, but I'm going pretty often and I'm loving it. So 2018 was awesome. And out of all of those goals, we totaled 13 goals. And out of 13, we met 12. So my vision board was very successful. I don't know if I'm going to make another one. And if I do, I probably won't film it. It'll just be something for us personal. But I just wanted to share that with you guys to say that these vision boards and the way that you think and your affirmations definitely come true and they work. So I don't know if you want to try it. Hopefully this ramble kind of inspired you to look into it and try it out for yourself. Ha, okay. I definitely am not doing my makeup. Let's see. So this, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm going for right now, you guys. I don't even know where this video is going. My energy level sucks being so stressed out lately and i'm gonna tell you guys why i think that i'm being so stressed out so okay 
guys so as of lately my energy level out of nowhere has tumbled like completely depleted and i have no idea what's happening to my body i'm getting hormonal pimples my face is breaking out my sleep is irregular like my body has been going completely nuts right so it's only natural that i try to invest what's going on with my body and unfortunately enough the symptoms that i'm feeling feel very familiar to me though right so i'm like you know either i'm pregnant which i'm not because i just got off my period or something is is wrong i don't know if it's a 30 year old thing and i'm just getting older or the kids are stressing me out like i have no idea right so but i know that it feels familiar because i'm losing control of my ambition and i'm a pretty ambitious person like i love getting up going to work i love taking care of my kids i love running around actually sitting down makes me crazy like i don't like to sit down so this this eagerness to just do nothing is really weird to me right so i'm like talking to my husband about it like you know something is off with me i don't know what's going on with my body yada 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 so then i remember back when i had august that um i remember feeling this exact same thing but it happened earlier it happened right after i had august and so it was easier for me to associate my feeling with postpartum depression I'm like, oh my God, I got postpartum depression. I don't want to do nothing. I just want to sit here and eat. I want to sit here and cry. I want to sit here and dwell on things that has kept me down. And this is why I can't get up. And I'm just exhausted. I'm tired of life, you know. But that didn't happen when I first had Amina. When I first had Amina, I was just like, oh, we going for walks. We going to the park. We getting out. We going swimming. We doing this. We doing blah, 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 blah. You know, I just was on fire. Like, seriously, until like a couple weeks ago. And I'm just like, oh, my God. Like, okay, so I'll be uh, eight months postpartum on the 7th, which is Tuesday. So I'm looking up. So I started Googling, like, can you get postpartum depression depression? later on Don't and sure enough you can they say some women um start having postpartum depression late as late as eight months you know what i'm saying so this happened like a couple weeks ago and i'm like oh my gosh i think that i'm having postpartum depression and this is completely out of my control because my hormones and my emotions are absolutely nuts right now like my ambition is at zero. Like, I'm literally peeling myself off of the couch, off of the floor, off of anything just to get up and get stuff done. So, right now, in this moment, my energy levels are super sucky. My ambition to do anything. I posted a Christmas video, like, kind of recapping everything about Christmas or whatever. And I really wanted to make that more detailed. And I wanted to make it more exciting. But I just didn't feel like it. And I don't know if you guys know this. But in my face, I'm kind of just like, womp, womp, womp. Like, so it's like I'm literally, like, trying to speak life into me. Like, the little voice in my head is like, get up and get things done. So, in this very moment, I am still finding through what I believe to be postpartum depression. And it just kind of slapped me upside the head and I'm just dealing with it. So forgive me if my energy levels suck because I feel sucky. I really do. And I truly apologize. But um, I kind of think I did a look like this before. And I mean, I'm, like I said, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just trying out this new makeup for y'all on camera. Um. I'm rambling a lot, but forgive me. I want to get a video up and I want to talk. I need somebody to talk to. Dear YouTube Diary. You know, let's just be honest. Dear YouTube Diary. That is also a, um, that is a series I think that I should make on YouTube, seriously. Like, Dear YouTube Diary. Okay, um, I'm back. I don't even know where I left off, but I just went ahead and did like the things that I normally would do without the camera on, put lashes on. I do the powder and stuff, but at this point, like you guys know all of that. Um, I don't even know where I left off. Let's see. That's so many, like, and as I the camera's off and I'm letting it cool down, I'm like thinking of like what what else I can say to you guys. 
about 2019 um i will this is one thing that's like sticking out to me like the most so you guys know that i have like serious body image issues like serious body image issues because as a child I was always told that being skinny was the only way, literally the only way to be beautiful. I was taught that a man does not love a woman that's bigger because he can't show her off. Nobody wants to be, you know, seen with somebody big or bigger and things like that. Like, so... I have extreme issues. No, I'm not, those are not my views, by the way. Let me let me put that out there. Those are not my views. I think it's complete ignorance. I think it's complete um, lack of knowledge. Um, I think it's derived from self hate. Um, but I think that um, we are not given the proper tools to deal with a lot of things that happen to us. So we just pass it down generation to generation to generation. Um, so anyway, I deal with trying to love myself. Um, at any shape or size. And I had a tendency to project what's in my head onto others. For example, my husband. I feel like I am not attractive to my husband because... Um, I've gained all this baby weight, you know, like after having Amina and just kind of putting on a lot of weight and just feeling like, you know, that thing in my head, you can't be beautiful unless you're skinny, skinny, skinny. And this is another thing why my 2019 goals is to get that voice out of my head. Um. I want to just be able to love myself and enjoy myself right now before, you know, because I think, okay, let me, because I'm kind of all over the place. I, um, I have this serious thought going through my head of this Brazilian butt lift. Because my stomach has that mommy hang where you have two kids. I've had a C-section. Then I had a V-back. So I have the scarring. I have the flap, the hang. And it's worse than what it was before when I first mentioned it in my other video about uh, thinking about plastic surgery. So now it was even worse. So now the thought is like constantly living in my brain. Like it's, it's non-stop. I mean because I'm always looking at my body in the mirror when I change clothes, when I get ready for the gym, when I put my night clothes on. I'm just always looking at my body. So I'm constantly like, man, if I could just get this front to go to the back, I will be perfect. But the only thing about that is um, I won't be able to love who I am right now. And then I'll resent myself because I'm telling myself I'm not worthy of loving me right now who I am until I reach this status of skinny small waist big butt um small waist big butt kind of plays into what today's society says is beautiful but the whole skinny thing has been implanted since like I said since I was a child so I am fighting myself right now the dark side of me I'm at war with the dark side of me saying you can't be good enough until you get to this weight. So in 2019, I want to truly love my body right now. Say I do get this surgery. I still will have a void of unhappiness because I haven't conquered what the true meaning of loving myself is and being happy is. Because I'll say, look, I'm getting this surgery because I'm ugly, basically. Like, I'm ugly and my body isn't good enough. And I don't want to believe that i don't want to accept that i don't want to constantly feel like i need to fix myself to be loved by myself does that make sense so for 2019 i am on this self-love tour <laughs> with myself 
I have considered this surgery, but I'm constantly bringing it back down to reality because getting this surgery isn't going to fix what's broken inside. And that's the issue. It has nothing to do with my outer image. It's all about what's inside of my mind, what's inside of my thoughts, what's inside of my heart. I need to fix that person first. And then if I want the surgery after that, then I'll be okay with that. But I'm not okay with wanting it when what's broken is on the inside. So I am in 2019 going to continue to work hard at my body and myself and just learn, loving every process that I'm in. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm never the one to speak like, well, what happens if something happens to me or whatever, blah, 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 blah. Like, I hate talking like that. But I'm literally at that point now, like, I'm not promised tomorrow. Am I going to leave this world feeling as if I am not worthy of celebrating because I wasn't skinny? It sounds ridiculous. It's, and as ridiculous as it sounds out loud, for some reason our brain or my brain still processes, but it needs to be done. So, I am, oh, I'm just ready to stop it, you know? Like, I'm ready to stop it. It has cut my life you know, my my enjoyment process of my life in half. I won't take pictures. I won't go out, get dressed because I don't like my body. So I won't experience fun and enjoyment because I don't like my body and it's ridiculous. I work too hard and I come too far to be hung up on this one thing. And it's so ridiculous. So I am, um, I'm a work in progress. And I just wanted to acknowledge that to the world because and i'm not being shallow or boastful i mean i hear that i'm pretty often so um it's not it's not it's deeper than that it's so much deeper than that and it doesn't matter how pretty somebody looks on the outside the inside is what really matters and i am here to conquer my insides I hope that made sense. I hope that made sense. I hope I didn't sound crazy or ridiculous, but I just wanted to say that out loud. It felt like a huge weight on my shoulders. And uh, I just want to be done with it, you know? I'm tired of it. I'm tired of that baggage. I'm tired of that weight. And more importantly, I don't want to pass it down to my daughters. They don't deserve that. They don't deserve to feel like that. And they need a mom to show them from right and wrong. <clears throat> and self-love is the most important thing you could teach someone is to love themselves so that's what i want to do here's a little inspiration you ever want to just listen to some good music and lift yourself up here has been my theme of 2018 it's so good i'm gonna keep it going in 2019 so i'll just finish my makeup Play this song for you guys and pray over your 2019. Um, I pray it's a good one. I hope y'all have a good one. God bless you and thank you for watching and listening. I'll be back on with the final look, the final touches, and all that jazz. But this is my message to you guys. Get ready, y'all. Alright, I'll be back. Okay, so y'all remember how I said my energy levels was terrible? Yeah, I'm not going to even do my hair. I'm just going to comb. I'm just going <laughs> to take the braids out so it don't look crazy for the end of the video. Um, And that's it. So, I pretty much rambled. But I feel like I had some strong points that I wanted to make. Um, I wanted to encourage somebody for the new year. I know it's like 
kind of late, but late is better than never. And I just want to uplift somebody. Life is hard. It's hard to get up every day sometimes and put a smile on your face and keep going on and to keep the momentum up. Um, I just wanted to tell y'all to stay prayerful. You know, it's, it sounds cliche, but we really just have to lean on God in times like this and just ask him to to fight our battles because sometimes we really are tired and God is okay with that. I mean, he's there to fight our battles for us. And so leaning on him, leaning into him is important. And I could say that a million times and it still will be just as powerful because it's the truth. And the truth is the truth. When you know, you know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm sure I left out a lot of things. Like I said, this is just one of those moments. I honestly wasn't even about to make this video. I was about to sit down, make a cup, another cup of coffee like always. And just not even make it because I'm so tired all the time. But I honestly think that there's something chemically happening to my body. Because I have not been feeling like this. This just started like a couple weeks ago. Like honestly, like when I was on Christmas, getting ready to take the Christmas break for school. I'm like, oh man, I could make at least five videos. At least. I got so much time and opportunity and then all of a sudden, I was just like, I'm not doing nothing. I'm barely making it to the gym. I'm not about to make no videos. So, anyway, Happy New Year 2019 will be everybody's year. Get up, fight back, tell that voice in your head to cut it out. None of it is true. The devil is a liar. And we know that. So, see y'all next time. Peace out.